Continuing from our last video, we have now come to the point where we've written a class called method example, and there's the opening of the class, and there's the close of the class. And inside the class, we have two methods. We have our main method, which has the header public static void main string args, and there's the opening of the brace, and there's the closing of the, of the method. Now we've added another method, and this method is below. It needs to be contained within the, the class, but not contained within another method. This method, we've looked at writing what's called the header of the method. And currently, all methods will start with the word public, all methods will have the word static, and then we have the word void here. This word will change depending on what the method returns. This first method called print something returns nothing. The next word is the name of the method, so this method is called print something. And again, etiquette dictates that we start method names with a small case letter and then any subsequent words are capitalized. Again, another good convention is you'll notice that methods tend to be named with, with a verb followed by a noun. So we're going to print something. Okay, the last part are the braces. This tells us what the method needs to run. So if nothing's in here, the method needs nothing. And then we have our open brace, and we have our close brace. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to execute this program to be sure everything runs. So we're going to run the file. No problems. So again, when I run this program, it's going to go into this class and look for this main method. That is the first thing it needs to find. So what I want to do is I want to print something out. So I'm going to go into this method and write some code here. So this method simply prints something. So I'm going to say system.out.println. This is a test. System.out.println. A test this is. System.out.println. I don't like tests. So now this method has, a has, has some, some specific statements to execute, and it's going to print out, this is a test, a test this is, I don't like test. So if we go up and we run this program, we see the program runs, but nothing happens. The reason why nothing is happening is because, again, when I run this program, it's going to compile this and then execute it. It's going to go into the class method example 1 and look for a main method. The main method is right here. It's going to execute this and everything within the main method's braces and then stop. And currently there's nothing inside of there. So we're going to add a little bit in there. So I'm going to say system.out.println. Welcome to the method demo. So now when I run this, We'll say welcome to the method demo. There it is. So now what I want to do is I want to have the main method call the uh, the print something method. So we want to have to have main method call print something. Just use its name. So in order, to, in order to run the print something method, I simply have to write the word print something. So when the program sees the word print something, it's going, it recognizes that this is a method because the name matches the name of my method below, and the braces indicate the method. So when it sees this, it's going to go into print something, execute all the code, and then return back to that spot. So if I run this, and we scroll up a bit, Welcome to the method demo, which is here, and it says print something, which prints out the code right below. In the next video, we'll expand on this a little bit more.